morning to you. I hope you're enjoying your day, that you've had your coffee and are up to par. It is 10 o'clock. Time to get started with our daily devotional. As always, I ask that you would <clears throat> please sign in, say hello, so that I can know that you're here, and I can say hello back and greet you. Today, we are going to be in Jesus Calling, Morning and Evening, by Sarah Young. Delightful gift given to me by uh, Herm and Sue. And Sue is here. Hello, Sue. Uh, Cindy is here. Good morning, Cindy. I liked your uh, your blog this morning, Cindy. I thought it was quite nice. I hope everybody reads it. <clears throat> so, um, I'm, I'm going to try and add to my blog today if I get the time. I've got a lot going on. A lot going on. Got some visitations. Good morning, Sheila. Yes, I am the couch tater. <laughs> there are sweet taters. There are agitators. There are couch taters. Uh, there are all kinds of taters in the tater family. Lori, good to see you. Good morning to you. Uh, let's see, Sheila Bartlett is in the house. Good morning to you. Uh, we're going to have another work day in the Children's Church coming up. I'll announce it through a calling post message. Um, <clears throat> but yes, we're going to finish it up and maybe even get some painting done. Shirley Akers is in the house. Good morning to you, Shirley. Uh, is Joel with you or is he chopping wood again? I, I would imagine he's got enough chopped for the week. But anyway, uh, hello to you. Uh, let's see here. Um, Elizabeth and Bob, good morning to you. Looking forward to visiting with y'all next week. Lou Ann, hello. Uh, yeah, I saw a little ray of sunshine too, and then it went away. <laughs> Lisa, good to see you. Hello. Nice little chipmunk there you've got going on. Um, <clears throat> as I was telling someone earlier, we are going to be in Jesus Calling today. I really like today's devotional. It's a morning and evening. I'm going to read them both to you. Um, they're kind of short. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> okay, it's only two minutes after. i got a lot of emails popping in. and uh, So I hope everybody is ready to get busy with their day. Thursday, we got a lot to get caught up on, a lot of things to do. Friday's right around the corner. We got Saturday, we got Father's Day on Sunday. Hey, if y'all have any funny Father's Day photos, please text them to me, email them to me. I've got some um, Lowe's gift cards I'm going to give away to the winners. We're going to put them on Facebook and we're going to vote and see who the winner is going to be. Um, pray for Lori's back. Yes, we sure will. Severe lower back pain. Ooh, hate back pain. Mm, okay. So y'all be praying for Lori, okay? And uh, I'll try and uh, make sure we pray for her uh, this morning when we get started. Kathy Eversall, how are you, my friend? It is good to see you. And I uh, hope Sonny's doing well. Um, Joe's out working in the uh, back 40. Um, yeah. <laughs> He's a busy man, isn't he? Uh, I hope that I have his energy and stamina when I am his age. He is a hard-working man. Yes, he is. <clears throat> All right. It is four minutes after. It is time to go. Whoop, there we go. Time to get started. And uh, we are in Jesus Calling. And so there will be other people time chiming in and saying hello, but they can go back and catch up. All right. Remember, this is um, much like the imitation of Christ um, from many centuries ago. The premise is that this is Jesus talking, okay? You are my beloved child. I chose you before the foundation of the world to walk with me along paths designed uniquely for you. Concentrate on keeping in step with me instead of trying to anticipate my plans for you. If you trust that my plans are to prosper you and not to harm you, you can relax and enjoy the present moment. Your hope and your future are rooted in heaven, where eternal ecstasy awaits you. Nothing can rob you of your inheritance of unimaginable riches and well-being. 
Sometimes I grant you glimpses of your glorious future to encourage you and spur you on, but your main focus should be staying close to me. I set the pace in keeping with your needs and my purposes. Uh, you can also read Ephesians 1 4, um, Proverbs 16 9, Jeremiah 29 11, Ephesians 1 13 and 14. And then there is the evening <clears throat> devotional that goes along with this. <clears throat> when you or others gaze into the future, making predictions, you are simply exercising your imaginations. I alone have access to what is not yet. Recognizing the futility of future gazing can help set you free to live more fully in the present. And then Ecclesiastes 8.7 says, Since no man knows the future, who can tell him what is to come? And Revelation 1.8 says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God. Who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. You might also like to read Psalm 32, verse 10. And then there is this last piece. Since I hold the future far beyond your reach, plant your mind in the present and remain in my presence. I like that. I like that. <clears throat> I am... Um, agree with the imaginations statement that is in there. Uh, my last portion of my book, uh, or the last book, if you buy them separately, um, called Blotted Out, is um, all about the future and what is yet to come. Um, I've got a call coming in. I'm going to have to decline it since they're not watching. They don't get to participate. All right, <clears throat> and in Blotted Out, I talk about heaven um, and what it looks like and kind of walk you through, and it's all, it's, it's from Scripture, it's based on Scripture, but it is the imagination which carries, because no man knows or has seen or can talk about it. You know, Paul says that he, he saw certain things, but he can't talk about it, <clears throat> so... Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed today's devotional. I hope you keep your mind on Christ and stay in step with him today. Walk and live in his presence. Um, in your mind, or even verbally, uh, have a conversation with him as you walk along. And keep in mind that we are to share the love of Christ wherever we go. Let's close in prayer and remember to pray for Lori's back. Lord, I thank you so much that uh, we have this devotional today, this time together, the opportunity to uh, even worship you uh, as we come together in this fashion. Father, we pray that you will uh, heal Lori's back and give her relief from the pain. We pray that you have your hand upon Pastor Tom, that you will bring him back uh, from Abingdon refreshed, relaxed, and renewed. And Lord, we pray for um, a beautiful Sunday rooftop service and inside service and we give you all the glory we thank you we love you in jesus precious and holy name and all god's people said amen thank you take care bye-bye